In developing a treatment plan, you want to do educational evaluation and, and planning, what's going on in that structure. And you can have four or five points you tell parents. Be sure the school is aware of this. Be sure the, the kid sits in the front of the class. Be sure that the kid is getting the assignments down, written and oral, so it's both. Be sure that the kid has a buddy so that they can, when they miss the assignments, can have that or they can go online. But of course, most of the schools that do it online, they're two weeks behind putting the assignments online. Um, and then you go ahead and be sure that a few things like that. Um, parent support and guidance is great. There's a number of uh, referral groups. A lot of them are online now because people can't get to these online, you know, in-person support groups. They love them. And they give a lot of information, Chad, add-in. Those are two that are really big and great. And it helps those organizations. Behavioral therapy is useful for ADHD symptoms that are mild to moderate. The effect size of behavioral therapy is reported to be 0.3 to 0.4. Effect size of, we'll give you an estimate of stimulant is about one. So it just gives you a sense. It's a mild to, mild to moderate effect size, can be very helpful. Uh, patient is preschool. For younger kids, we almost always start with parent training behavioral modification. Or they just say, I don't want medications. I've heard all about Ritalin, I don't want it. Pharmacotherapy is, as I said, considered first line. Once treatment is established, you're going to be helpful to work with the school or the college. Um, you're going to help prepare the patient for major, major transition. So if you're working with kids, I spend a lot of my time, younger kids going into middle school, and sometimes it's driving by the middle school, taking them to the middle school, meeting a couple of the teachers. These kids are typically anxious. It's interesting. They're impulsive and anxious simultaneously. And it helps to do little things like that. And the parents and the kids can do that. And then when they go into high school, the same kind of transition from high school to college, that's a very gentle handoff. A lot of questions. Both Dr. Goodman and myself have worked with professional athletics and ADHD, so you can't not hear this. A lot of people say, what about activity levels in ADHD? And also for yourself, um, it's a really good idea. After my talk, you can skip Goodman's talk because it's all here anyway, but to go out in this t 20 below weather and go take a brisk five mile walk. It'll really get your attention going. Um, but actually it does. So data suggests that enhanced activity improves general attentiveness in kids. It's a mild effect. And it only lasts for the time about four to eight hours after the activity. So activity does improve it, but it's a short-lived effect. Um, activity throughout the day reduces hyperactivity. That's great, except we've taken away a lot of recesses now for kids. So you see sometimes more problem. Why is that happening? Because it's probably frontal lobe, the executive oversight of the brain, planning, inhibition, et cetera, is in the front of the brain that is working in this area. What are the medications that we're using for ADHD? We use the stimulant medications, adamoxetine, which is also called Stratera, alpha agonists, Notice that we don't call them the antihypertensives as often anymore. We call them alpha agonists. Those are the same. We've kind of renamed them, and you're going to see that going on more and more in pharmacotherapy based on me more mechanistically how, what they do. And that includes guanfacine and clonidine. And then I'm going to show some data. How many people know that combination therapy is FDA approved now in children? So we have a few people. That's great. Most people don't know that there's combination pharmacotherapy now that is specifically FDA approved in kids so that when you use it, you don't have to be so nervous about using the combination.